So we're going to be talking about time periods and factor pricing and price levels in this video. And you can already see that I already gave you the definition for factor prices and price levels here. Factor prices are the prices of inputs. And inputs, what I mean by that is everything that we need to actually produce a product. So the human labor, the resources, and the technology are inputs that we need to produce products. And price level is the prices of products in this context. And I have labeled price level as P and factor prices as FP. Now what this table signifies is what, what ha how fast it would take for the prices of products and the prices of inputs to change in a given time period. So let's say that our CEO just decides to uh, change up, change the price of a particular product and change the input of the price of the input of a particular product. Can he do this immediately? Well, for prices of product, no, he can't do this immediately. Why? Well, because if he is a CEO of a franchise and this franchise owns like multiple stores, or say he's the CEO of Walmart. Well, Walmart has like thousands of stores all around the world. And if he decides to change a product, he can't do it with a click of his finger. He, this process will have to take time. And that is that time, it could be, could be a couple of days, a couple of weeks, a couple of months, a couple of years. So no, when he wants to change the price of the product, he can't do it immediately. How about the price of the inputs? Well, inputs are harder to change than, the prices of inputs are harder to change than products. So no. For immediately that is a no too because for inputs that will also concern the manufacturers and suppliers as well right so so not the factors that uh, are not directly under the control of the CEO of Walmart so it will be harder to adjust the price of inputs there will have to be a lot of deals made to actually get it to change now in the short run can prices the prices of products be changed oh yes they can Let's say in a good situation, in a couple of months, the CEO decides to change the price of the product and over a couple of months, which is a short run, the, the, the change of the price could be uh, reflected in the thousands of stores all around the world. And that is a possibility. But for uh, can the prices of inputs be uh, affected in the short run? Well, that is still a no. And why is that? Well, that is because of prices uh, due to laws, due to laws, unions, and etc. These factors will put a barrier against a change in the price of inputs, and that is why we cannot. Uh, the pr that is why the price of inputs, a change in the price of inputs, cannot cannot be adjusted in the short run. Now in the long run, everything can be adjusted or the change can be reflected in everything. So if the CEO decides to change the price of the price of the price of the products, in the long run this this change that he decided to make will be reflected in the long run. The change in the inputs will also be uh, re reflected because in the long run, we consider a long run to be like a couple of years, like five or ten years, and that is enough time for anyone, like the CEO, to 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 do enough deals to have to negotiate with his suppliers and manufacturers to have the prices of their inputs ad adjusted, and that is all I want to go through in this video, and I hope that this is clear, really clear to you. If it's not clear, go through the video again because this is really important for everything that we're going to do in the future videos. Thanks for watching.